Welcome to today's 3D print. This is a, a video I've tried to record many times over again <laughs> because um, I'm trying to figure out how to say this without hurting anybody's feelings or being offensive. It's also difficult for me because it's going to hurt me. <laughs> um, there was just a sale on 3D Cytec filament. This is a roll of ABS I bought a few months ago. I personally did not buy any filament during this sale because I have 700 rolls. I don't need more filament. Even at $8 a roll, I don't need any more. Um, I have not been in contact with the company, so I don't know the exact details yet. But from what I'm gathering, some people are receiving emails requesting they return the filament. Politely. They're being very polite. Apparently, they made a mistake and accidentally posted a 50% discount coupon when they intended to post a 15% discount coupon. So, <coughs> I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm not here to give you any instructions. I'm here to explain what I think happened, that they made a mistake, and what I would do had I ordered, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 rolls of filament. Apparently some people ordered that many. One person I know ordered 70 rolls. Um, I would return the filament. Now, for me, this is where it gets hard to explain because people, for me, it's a moral responsibility decision. And the problem with saying that is that that implies if you disagree with it that you're immoral. I don't agree with that either. But it is a moral responsibility decision. I do not believe in profiting from a mistake that will harm a company, especially a company that I enjoy, that I like. I very much like the filament 3D Solitech makes, and apparently this is very harmful to them. Apparently we're not talking about a few dozen rolls here. Apparently we're talking about thousands of rolls, their entire Amazon stock. They were rapidly canceling orders as quick as they can once they realized the mistake, so a lot of people may have get orders that were canceled. Um, this is why, the, um, from what I understand, I have not been in contact with 3D Cytotech. I've reached out to them to ask them for an official statement because I don't want to you know, pass any bad information. So this is very generalized information. But um, now the one catch is I don't believe in benefiting from an honest mistake. That would be like going to a little girl's lemonade stand and mommy goes inside and little girl starts selling gallon jugs of lemonade for 25 cents instead of selling little cups of lemonade for 25 cents. If mommy came out and said, oh my God, that's a mistake. It wasn't supposed to be that much. Are you going to tell her to buzz off? The transaction's over. <laughs> well, most of us, I think, would say, no, of course not. The little girl made a mistake. So what's the difference between that mistake and this mistake? Why is one not morally acceptable and the other one is morally acceptable? It's because we tend to separate companies as non-human things. And they are non-human. Companies should not have the rights of people. But the people who make mistakes should not be abused for that mistake. So for me, the morally correct thing to do is to return the filament, even though I end up getting nothing, with one catch. As long as it doesn't cost me anything. I believe the way they want you to return them is bought by mistake, which would avoid the them paying for shipping both ways problem. So I believe that would result in you having to pay return shipping. That's not okay. I am not okay with benefiting from a mistake, but I'm also not okay with me having to pay for your mistake. <laughs> so if there's return shipping, I'm not going to pay that unless the company's willing to work with me. So for example, if I bought 50 rolls of 3D Solutech and Amazon said, okay, you're gonna have to pay 30 bucks, you're gonna have to eat 30 bucks for that return, I would ask 3D Solutech, your rolls are 18 to $21 a pop, would you send me any two rolls I want? Okay, that would cover the shipping. Plus, you know, a couple extra bucks of benefit to me, you know, because the two rolls together are gonna be like, you know, 35 bucks, so, you know, I end up not having to pay anything for shipping because I get two rolls of filament equal to the value of that shipping and they get to undo a mistake that is potentially very detrimental to their company. As long as they're willing to do that, I would say I would return the filament. 
I would not keep it. Um, it might be difficult to return any rolls that were opened, so if I opened a roll, I'd probably say, hey, you know, I assume you don't want me to return the open rolls, but all the rest, I would return, because I like the company, and I don't want to see harm come to them. Keep in mind, this video is harmful to me, <laughs> because any returns, well, I lose my cut too, <laughs> and that's going to hurt me, okay, a lot, <laughs> you know, and, and, you know. I got to be careful how I word this because um, Amazon has strict rules, but, you know, the vast majority of my income comes from my association as an associate with Amazon. I believe their exact wording is, as an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. These would become non-qualifying purchases, so you can draw from that what you will. I want to stay within the rules for Amazon. Um... So I gain nothing from this and I lose a lot from it, but it's the morally right thing to do. So if you are willing, and if Solutech is willing to compensate you for that return shipping fairly, I would say it's probably a good idea to try to help them out if you can, because I like their filament and I don't want to see them harmed. A lot of these companies work on a razor thin budget. We're not talking about a few dozen rolls here <laughs> we're talking about their entire Amazon stock thousands of rolls <laughs> so we're talking you know probably a hundred thousand dollar loss <laughs> it would it be that much it's probably not quite that much what would it be so a hundred thousand dollars divided by eight uh, it could be. I doubt it's that much. We're probably looking at more like forty or fifty thousand dollars because a hundred thousand would be twelve thousand five hundred rolls of filament. Um, so we're probably looking at more like forty or fifty thousand dollars. But that's not chump change. That's not something a small, very low person operation, razor thin profit margin company can easily afford to absorb. You know, we're not talking about one color. We're talking about every piece of stock they have. So. You do what you got to do. I will not hold a grudge either way. I will not pass judgment either way. I get it from all perspective. In my personal position, in my personal code of ethics, just for me, without passing judgment on anybody else's code of ethics, if they could arrange it so that the return would not financially harm me. So if Amazon said, okay, it's a buyer mistake, you got to pay the return shipping, okay, 3D Solutech, will you give me a number of rolls equal to that shipping that I would have to pay to return? If they agree to that, I would do it. If they didn't agree with that, I want to return it, but I can't return it at my cost because that would harm me, and I'm not the one who made the mistake. I personally did not buy any filament during the sale just because I have too much and I wanted to leave it available to you guys. Um, but um, if I had, I would return it. So that's it. I will see you guys tomorrow on the live stream. We're going to do the Ortor laser engraver. So that should be a lot of fun. I got my laser goggles ready because I needed a second pair to make sure if Michelle comes out of that room that she has a pair of goggles on because this is an open air laser engraver so that laser light can go everywhere. I'm going to have to get rid of my little cat bed here because I can't have the cats too close to this laser because the reflected light could hurt them as well. So I'm going to have to be careful. But beyond that, I will see you guys tomorrow. You guys have a great night and sorry for the bad news. I, I hope the company can pull through this. I hope they can survive. Um... We shall see. Have a good night.